afternoon, everyone. This is a red alert day, meaning the potentially dangerous and damaging winds are in play as that frontal system moves across the area. Now, the winds are the strongest right with the front as it moved on through. It moved through the Sunport about 1.30 in the afternoon. You can see you can, can't even make out the mountains, so strong winds are still advancing on into the northeast heights. But after gusting up to 74 miles an hour at the Sunport one half hour ago as the front came on through, we had temperatures in the 50s. Now we've had about a 20 degree drop in just about a half hour time and winds are uh, still pretty bad out there gusting up to 48 miles an hour and snow showers are in play over here. OK, now we're looking at the mountains. Now we're looking back to the west over here and some snow showers. You can kind of see them blowing in the camera over here. Here's a look at conditions at Double Eagle Airport in the mid 30s as well. And they were gusting over 60 miles an hour. Now they're gusting at 38 miles an hour. So the takeaway on the wind gust here in the Albuquerque area itself, we have seen the worst of the winds, but it's going to be slow to improve. But uh, let's go ahead and talk about the snow. Uh, once the front went on through, that rain changed into snow. That's what you're seeing right here. So we have blowing snow all throughout this I-25 corridor. So if you're traveling around here, and you really shouldn't be, uh, winds are pretty miserable out there. And before it was blowing dust and tumbleweeds, now it's blowing snow across the area. But uh, as we uh, pull on out, you can kind of see that uh, we'll put this in motion. And the front is located right here. There you see it. The front, you can see that green turning to blue, so the strongest winds are probably across the eastern part of the city right now, and then that'll be improving for a bit. Now, as this uh, whole storm front was coming toward us, we had those snow squall warnings in effect across the western section of the metro area on out toward Gallup and Grants. Now, as we uh, look at the power outages, we have 8,500 customers in Bernalillo County without power, 300 in Sandoval County, 300 in Santa Fe County. A little bit ago, that was 1,000, so that is an improvement, 400 over in Valencia County. Now, here's a look at the uh, satellite map. You can kind of see the snow is advancing right into central parts of the state. Let me go ahead and show you what we're expecting with future track. There's that front cutting through uh, the heart of Albuquerque right now, and you see the snow around it. As it presses to the east, I'm going to stop at around 5 o'clock. Look how a lot of the snow is confined until the northern mountains and western mountains, so it does taper off throughout some of the lower elevations, and that continues to be the case, but the winds are continuing to be strong, especially right along this front as it cuts through southeastern parts of New Mexico. Here's a look at wind gusts right now. Now, keep these numbers in mind because I'm going to show you the peak wind gusts so far today. They're going to be very impressive for you, but gusts up to 57 miles an hour at the uh, Santa Fe Airport right now, and you see a lot of gusts over 60. Now, here are some of the peak gusts. A 74-mile-per-hour peak gust about a half hour ago over in Albuquerque in a 77 mile per hour wind gust in Santa Fe. So this was a very powerful front that continues to move across the area. Visibility below a mile around Grants, Albuquerque, on into Santa Fe, into Taos. So yeah, stay inside if you possibly can. High wind warnings in place throughout much of New Mexico through the evening and overnight hours. And uh, blowing snow is a concern northern and western parts of the state as we were showing you. But uh, there's a look at things. You can kind of see we have the rain changing into snow uh, and no longer like a half hour ago do we have winds gusting up to uh, 70 miles an hour, but uh, we're going to have these strong winds for the rest of the afternoon. We'll give you another update in about an hour.